have you here. Great, thank you. We just finished a, a panel discussion uh, around distribution mm -hmm. here at Hedna. Uh, what were some of the key issues that you raised uh, or that were discussed? Uh, there, there was quite a bit. Uh, so a lot around uh, rogue wholesalers. We had a conversation about that and what they're they're doing. Um, it really isn't the wholesalers. That is their business model to put inventory everywhere. Uh, but I think what's changed is how the industry uses wholesale and what they're actually doing with the, the rates inventory. And that was a big part of the conversation. On uh, you know those rates were meant to be packaged and put together as part of travel packages and now they're being broken apart and sold everywhere. So what are the ramifications, what you should do, what should you do? Um, individual companies have to make individual decisions, but you know, do you stop working with them? Do you work with them in a different way? Do you go to dynamic rates? A lot of those conversations came right, up. Right. And what type of uh, feedback were you getting from the audience? Uh, you know, the audience, we asked a bunch of questions on it, like how can you control it? And uh, I think the the consensus was that you really can't control anything any longer. You've got to make sure that the business model makes sense, put together the right deals, the right structures, and then, you know, if you do that correctly, you'll get control of your pricing and make sure that uh, the consumers have what they need. Great, great. Now, if I, unfortunately, I missed it, so I apologize. No but if I was in the audience, what would be three key takeaways that you'd like me to have? Um, I think the, you know, a lot of it was, to be honest with you, was one size does not fit all. That's probably the biggest takeaway because we did talk about what the big brands might want and how that might differ in just about every aspect from what the smaller brands or independents might want. So uh, one of the key takeaways is you got to make sure it makes sense for your uh, hotel and asset or company. Um, the other thing is what are you trying to do with your distribution, right? Are you, can you effectively get people to come directly? Can you drive your cost of sale down? Can you get incrementality? And if you can't, do you look at alternatives with third parties and to leverage them as much as possible. Mm -hmm. So that was a, a different thing. It really just depends on, on your brand. And then we talked about loyalty and the strength of loyalty. And once again, mixed bag, we think the big brands have tremendous loyalty strength. Uh, gives people a reason to book directly with, uh, with the brand. Um, and smaller hotels and smaller brands have to do different things. So loyalty is more around guest experience, making sure how people feel and interact on property and giving them that reason to come back. So loyalty is important, but how you leverage it in distribution differs. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Andrew, thanks very much. Thank you very much.